In today's video, it's all about Michigan. Why is studying in Michigan so worth it as an international student? Well, let's check it out. Well, let's begin with the amount of institutions found at higher education in the state of Michigan. You have 93 different in institutions to choose from. The biggest, the most renowned is Michigan State University with all of its campuses. Uh, Ann Arbor is the best campus with the highest rank. It's currently ranked as number six in the country and it offers a wealth of undergraduate, graduate and doctoral programs to choose from. It's very big on the sciences, on the business side, law and medicine, so you can expect to find students from all different backgrounds studying at this wonderful state and college campus. To top that off, you also have Michigan as the leading state when it comes to the amount of students being awarded graduate or undergraduate degrees, nearly doubling that of the national average. So that just goes to show the expertise that Michigan has as a state overall when it comes to edu higher education with undergraduate and graduate students. Now, Michigan is not just about education. It puts all of that into practice. Just look at the companies that are in this state. You have General Motors, you have Ford Manufacturing Company, you have Lear, all located in Michigan. You have a number of large HQs in this state pulling in all those graduating students into the job market. So you can expect very strong career prospects uh, with a degree of Michigan for sure, but also to stay in that same state. Now you're probably aware that in Michigan you do have uh, the city of Detroit famous for its collapse after General Motors uh, filed for bankruptcy back in 2008-2009. Now, since then, uh, Detroit has definitely gone through a renaissance. It has changed its face, it has given it a cleanup session, uh, and you will expect to find a growing economy in the city uh, with a community-led approach, which is changing and revolutionizing the way we understand the growth of any given city. So I definitely encourage you to read more about this uh, the city growth, the city change, change of Detroit. Uh, you might be surprised in what you learn and it just might make you want to go visit and walk its streets someday. So please check out the story of Detroit, how it's revamping and reshaping its own future. Now, the one big downside about Michigan is that it is quite an expensive state. Overall, cost of living is quite higher than the national average. Now, having said that, I have to stress that most universities are going to be located in college towns. They're not going to be located in big urban areas. The opportunity that this grants students, specifically international students, is to save a lot of money on their everyday expenses because they're not living in a massive city. Plus, uh, the university system in Michigan is pretty well known for its scholarship opportunities. However, I must mention that since they are pretty well ranked schools, the competitiveness on the applications are pretty, pretty high. So keep in mind that competitive students will have to fight and, 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 and compete for those maximum scholarship awards. So just use that with caution whenever you're considering a Michigan State school. Now, the one thing to mention with Michigan State Schools is their honors program as well. Many universities do have this, but it is especially renowned in Michigan. Uh, you will have access if you do have uh, outstanding grades as a continuing student to have access to the Honors College. This will give you perhaps further funding, but also access to upper level classes, different congresses or meetings or different activities uh, to just support you and make you a better student and build a better profile for your future. Now, Michigan has its own wildlife and natural landscapes for sure. It has many, many different lakes to explore and opportunities for activities around water, whether that's canoeing, fishing, etc. Uh, and you do have some national parks to visit as well. It is in the more northern region of the United States, so you can expect perhaps colder winters and darker seasons at that as well. But during the summer season, temperatures do rise to a very hot day and still a pretty mild night. So overall, you will explore and you will enjoy four different seasons in the state of Michigan, all of them bringing something special and unique to that experience. 
Now for those sports lovers, I think Michigan will have everything you're interested in. Like I said, during the summer, you do have very mild temperatures that will allow you to go swimming, canoeing, different water sports. During the winter season, you will have a lot of snow. So snowboarding, skiing uh, is definitely an opportunity because there are places to do that, just like exploring different hikes uh, during the snow season too. Uh, and then on the sports uh, level entertainment side of things with the universities in particular, Michigan is outstanding. They have wonderful football teams, basketball teams alike, sports, pro, uh, uh, summer sports like baseball uh, are, are also available. So overall, you're going to have a wonderful experience with anything connected to, to the sports industry. Now, before we finish this video, I just want to throw out a quick fun fact. Michigan is the only state in the United States that actually touches in different points all five great lakes in the United States. So, like I mentioned before, if you are a water lover, if you do love sports that involve water, uh, Michigan is definitely going to be one of the best places for that uh, outcome. Well, that's a wrap for me, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the state of Michigan. I hope I've been able to share some knowledge around the schools, the different systems, and why studying at Michigan is such a great idea. However, if you do have future questions or you just want to know more about other states as well, go to the description of this video. On that description, you're going to find a link to an online form. If you fill out that form, you're gonna get a free consultation with an ePro360 member in order to discuss your profile, what you wanna do with it, and how we can help you get to the United States. So if you're interested in studying in the United States undergraduate or graduate level, please don't think about it. Fill out the form, have your call today, and get the journey to the USA started right now. If you've liked the content, don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. I would also encourage you to activate the notifications in order to get notified anytime we create future content. Until then guys, thank you very much and have a wonderful day.